Welcome to the Movies and Stuff, Minnesota, everybody. I'm Abe, and joining me is the man who's redefining trash cans, Dan. Dan, what's up? I can't throw it out. You can't throw... Okay, you said something to me about trash cans, so I made that joke. What is actually going on? I can't throw out a trash can. I, I have a broken trash can. The garbage man will not take it as trash. What have you tried? Well, I like, put it out there. Step one. <laughs> Step one, I put it out there. Step two, I put it inside of another trash can. Step three, I wrote trash on it, and they just said, yeah, we know. There's trash in the can. Trash men are a very literal sort. I don't know. What to do. I think I'm going to have to, like, chop it up into pieces and put it into, like, a bag. Yeah, what, that, what if you put a big trash bag around it and tighten a knot? I don't, well, I, how big of a trash, we're talking a big trash bag to fit a trash can in, right? They've got to make it somewhere, right? I'm guessing so, but I, I can't get rid of it. If, if our listeners can please let me know how you throw out a trash can, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> it's a new contest. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. You no, still have no, those no, one wanted, no one wanted the Spartacus DVDs, so. <laughs> still got those. Yeah, so Spartacus DVDs, how the hell do you throw out a trash can? <laughs> how are you doing, man? How's it going? Oh, you know, not too bad. Sipping on a monster, getting my energy back. <laughs> Feel pretty good. That's great. Got the power. Oh, I do. So did you get your December's tickets or no? I did. You did do it? I did do it. You just gave the, the wife the middle finger and said, I'm doing it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I, I, I went online. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble here. I went online. Well, first off, I did make her feel a little guilty because I said to her, it's like, you know, it's like, ah, uh, you know, December tickets went on sale last Friday. It's probably sold out. And she's like, oh, you know, she kind of felt bad about that. I was like, well, let me just check. Let me just check. I went online and lo and behold, it's not sold out. Here's me just thinking that they would sell out Radio City Music Hall. I saw they had tickets 10 rows from the stage. Available, really? Ten rows from the stage. So I said to my wife, "I was like, ah, ten rows, ten rows from the stage." She's like, "Well, you gotta get them." You know, <laughs> without blinking. Oh, you gotta get those. Very cool. So it's I. I still don't know if Aaron is going to go to the show with me, or if I'm gonna have like a bro date, or something. <laughs> uh, either way, yeah. End of September, I'm gonna go see the Decemberists. So I'm okay. happy. I'm very good, happy. Good. Yeah. So I imagine you're kind of you became Ralphie. Yes. yes. I bet Flicks already got December's tickets. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you know, we never talk music ever. So or very rarely I should say. What's going on with you and music? Anything? You know, it's it's it, I you know, I went on Amazon the other day because I saw this is so funny, I saw an advertisement on Facebook and it worked. For the Eagles of Death Metal, they have a new album. Are you familiar with the Eagles of Death Metal? No, I'm not. Super fun, man. Just super fun band. Just really cool. It's uh, Josh Homme from uh, Queens of Stone Age. Oh, okay. He he's a part of that, and uh, it's just it's it's really fun music. And I've seen them live a couple times, and they're just yeah, really cool band. So I saw the advertisement on Facebook. Went on Amazon to to buy uh, the album, and. It's not available until October, so I don't know why they're advertising it <laughs> on Facebook. It's just so weird. Uh, but, you know, so I, I go to Amazon, and the first, I, I can't even believe I'm about to say this, the first option for listening format that was available was audio cassette. Shut up. Audio cassette was the first option available. Audio cassette. The, the, seriously, they I, they still make those. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna enrage you soon. <laughs> okay, but let me let me preface this with, so the MP3 album, which is what I'm going to buy, was nine dollars and eighty nine cents. Okay. All right. The vinyl, the vinyl they have it on vinyl, was nineteen ninety nine. Right. Okay, okay. The C D, the physical C D was fourteen eighty nine. All right. The audio cassette was also fourteen eighty nine. 
So not only is there an audio cassette, it's the same amount as buying a CD. Do you remember back in the day when CDs came out and they were like twice the amount of an audio cassette? Yes. Now, audio cassettes, they're hip. And not just hip. They're hip to the stir, if you know what I mean. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that a thing for real? It's a huge thing. It's a huge... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you got to ask, you know, some of our hipster uh, podcasts on the site. We have one, at least. No shit. Audio cassettes. Man, I knew those fuckers were lying when they kept saying, well, the vinyl's more organic and it, it, it sounds better. So what, the magnetic distortion from a shitty recording on a, on a cassette tape sounds better? Okay, you know, I do love vinyl. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I have a record player. I have tons of records. I do love vinyl. But to say that audio audio cassette is the worst format ever, it sounds like shit. It sounds like they've taken a great record and put it on toilet paper. Yeah, and it sounds worse each time you play it. Every time. It just gets worse and worse and worse. And then you have to, you know, finding a, a, a track on a tape was insanely just terrible. Oh, my God, Like, yes. the one benefit of, of audio cassettes that I liked was mixtapes. Mixtapes are cool. Hello, people. You can do fucking playlists now on iTunes or playlists on whatever program you have with MP3s. Oh my God, hipsters aren't about bumping in your car. So are they trying? Are they bringing back Walkmans? That's my guess. That is my guess. Is that they like how Walkmans look, so they wanted to bring back audio cassettes. It's a fucking fashion that's statement. My, that's my guess. Seriously. Holy shit. I'll never understand that shit. That is absurd. Yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in a bad mood now. That's it. Show's over. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Well, I guess that wraps up our Movies and Stuff Minnesota this week. Check back again next week as we'll have a brand new Movies and Stuff show for you. We're going to talk about the cult film The Shadow, and our special guest Penelope Ann Miller will join us. And here is a sneak peek. See you next week, everybody. <laughs> and, um, and then one of the things where I actually had to change... And I couldn't wear, I mean, this is going to sound a little bit risque, but I could, you know, a lot of times I couldn't really wear undergarments <laughs> because everything would show with the satin dress. And I had to change in the scene. There's one scene where I had to change behind the screen, but the screen was right. kind of see-through. Yeah. You know, you could see the silhouette. And I literally had to change in the scene. There's a scene where I'm changing. And we had to do it with the cameras rolling. So I thought, you know, until I watched it, I did, I realized that you actually could see the silhouette of my, you know, body. And here I was, you know, thinking that I was being discreetly covered up with the screen, but the screen had that sort of, you know, a little bit of a filter through it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it was something that I didn't expect. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think you could see everything, everything, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, I had to like, I think I had to change into, oh yeah, I was in a nightgown. That's right. It was in satin nightgown and I had to get out of the nightgown and put on a dress and, um, and do it all in the scene and they had to shoot it. And it was one of those scenes where, you know, you didn't want to cut the scene much because it was all about the banter between me and Alec. So I didn't realize the whole cast and crew was, you know, as they were we doing the scene was seeing me, you know, pretty much kind of naked in a silhouette. So anyway, that was... <laughs>